Hi everyone, my name is Ruby and I am a second year at Durham University and this is about my experience with the English department here. So most of the departments at Durham do quite a lot to kind of try and support their students, um, especially with the English department. As soon as you come here in first term, you're allocated an academic advisor who kind of creates meetings for you, will email you a little bit and if you have any questions about the course, you can speak to them about it. We also get formative and summative feedback sessions, which are one-to-one. -one. So you have 20 minutes just with your kind of supervisor for that essay, talking about your grade, what you're gonna do better next time, and what you maybe missed out on this time, which is really useful, especially if you're really confused as to why you're not doing so well, or if you have any special questions you need to ask about a specific topic. I would say it's really hard to kind of choose my favorite part of the course because so far I've enjoyed pretty much everything. Um, but I guess one of the things that I like about Durham is the kind of broad range of things that we do. So the lecturers have specialities in so many different subjects that you can do, you can have a whole set of lectures on one topic and you know that each lecture is still going to be different, which is really exciting. And it means that when you write essays about it, you can pretty much choose anything to focus on. And as long as you can back it up with evidence, you can make a really good point about something that interests you personally. And chances are that you'll have a lecturer who is also interested in that topic and you'll have a really good discussion about it in a feedback session, which is really nice. Something else which I found really cool about coming to Durham is that pretty much every subject has its own kind of academic society, which to start with sounds maybe a little bit dull. Um, so, for example, English has JULES, which is Durham University English Literature Society. Um, but it's kind of a chance to meet people from your course, do things that actually interest you. So. They have book club meetings, they go out and explore different events and things related to literature, they go to talks by authors, but they also have different balls each year. So last year there was a 1920s slash Grey Gatsby themed ball. Um, so it's a really good chance again to get to meet people, but also to have exciting opportunities that you literally wouldn't otherwise have. So we have college balls, but maybe if you miss that, you could always go to a society ball as well. So in terms of the future, English is a subject which leads on to kind of a wide variety of different career paths and so it's hard to think about kind of specific skills you might gain. I'd argue instead there's kind of like a broad spectrum which you can try and apply to lots and lots of different jobs. Um, but probably one of the most important in my eyes is the idea of creativity, um, which you kind of expect from an English student, but also the idea that you can approach a problem and you can come up with your own approach to it as long as you can evidence that. And it's all about looking through the different texts, trying to find evidence, and then coming up with something completely new, looking at things that people haven't looked at before in a completely different way, which has been really exciting to me. And I think that that will help me in a number of different job applications. So I've recently started doing kind of work experience applications and applications for summer internships. And what comes up a lot is this idea of excellent written and verbal communication, which is something that I think English as a subject here, especially at Durham, really helps with. So not only are we writing essays all the time for written communication, so we've got kind of that structure, that sense of argument, a comprehensive and eloquent style of writing. You've also got tutorials and seminars, which are around probably between six and 30 people, depending on which one you have. And it's an hour or two hours of discussion of pre-prepped materials. So you go in with your answers and you talk about them with other people, you have a little bit of an argument, a little bit of a discussion, and you come out with a wider range of ideas. So that's a perfect chance to kind of practice that idea of saying something and also taking other people's voices on board. So I think we also have a great sense of verbal communication. This year has been weird. Um, obviously learning is a completely different experience right now to how it was last year. Um, I feel like we've coped quite well. So obviously most of my lectures at the moment are on Zoom which can be a nightmare with student Wi-Fi, but we've managed to cope so far. Um, a lot of my tutorials are on Zoom as well, which is less great. Um, I do prefer them face-to-face. -face. Um, we have some face-to-face -face tutorials taking part in socially distanced room with masks, which is great. Um, but also I feel like they've worked hard to kind of facilitate the idea of a tutorial on Zoom. So sometimes they put us in breakout rooms so we can have smaller group discussions. Um, people definitely still contribute in a similar way to if it was physically in person. So at the end of the day, I feel like the university has done the best it can to keep us going in something that literally no one expected.